Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to chapter 19 of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and Blade of Light. I finally got the chapter number down, and I'll try to keep track of it from this point on. But, as Marth said before this chapter started, we're only going to be getting 11 extra units this chapter, so we gotta make them count. George, Katria, Abel, Kane, Samson, Merrick, Maria. We're gonna need to bring Batu to recruit someone, and also we're gonna need to bring Rickard, because there's a lot of doors and chests we want to get open. Uh, which actually I have written down here which ones I need to go after specifically, but we might as well grab as many as we can, even though I don't think we have too many lockpicks left. Although Marth, of course, can also grab some along the way if he needs to. Uh, last two units don't really matter who they are. I guess we'll bring just characters with range, so Lind and, uh, Shido, why not? Actually, she doesn't have range anymore. Does Minerva still have? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's bring Minerva and let's get started. Tiki, princess of the Naga clan, burn the trespasses of this temple with your power. Remember, I saved you from Meduth when you were separated from Bantu. Don't forget. So as he says, the boss of this chapter is actually a character named Tiki here, who is actually the granddaughter of Bantu, which is why we have to bring him. And we can talk to her despite her being the boss. In this chapter, we have a lot of chests we need to get to, including... I don't think we need to get these ones. Let me pull up my papers real quick to see which ones we absolutely need. Okay, here we are. So the chests I need to be going after is... Uh, actually, there is one over here. This one, I believe, right here is an item we've been yearning to get for quite a while, and that is the, uh... The Bishop Ring, which will increase the class for Merrick. Uh, where's Merrick? Merrick, there he is. Oh, does he not have an Elfire? I completely forgot to buy an Elfire for him last chapter, and I said I was going to as well. Uh, also with Marth, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit one of these rapiers so I have room to pick up items with the chests. Now as for the actual enemies, George can handle them. George is the best character in the game. He's become one of the best characters in the game along with Katria and Abel. And then he died. And that was his only hit, too. Man, he really he really wanted to prove me wrong, didn't he? Alright, Samson, do what you can. There aren't too many enemies coming along the hallway. Most of them are up there, and a lot of them up there are also just thieves. But one of those thieves is actually holding the light orb, I believe? Because of the star orb and the earth orb we're gonna find in chests, which we'll get to. Hey, I love up for Samson. It's a luck and an HP. Okay. Uh, Kane, go ahead and block the path so George is safe. And also, you might notice some of these, uh, some of these doors are adjacent to archers, which is not good for Rickard, because he's not exactly gonna take those hits well, so we need to take care of them with the ranged units, which is part of the reason I wanted to bring so many. Alright, that's everybody moved into position. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Of course... What's up, Gina? What do you want? Why are you meowing at me? I'm recording a video, girl. What's up? Uh, sorry about that. Jaina was just meowing randomly for some reason. I think she wanted attention, but she's here now. If she accidentally pushes anything on the controller, now you'll know why. I said controller, but it's a keyboard. And this guy's gonna go for Kane, it looks like, who's using the javelin. Good job, Kane. Okay, that guy's in peak range to be killed. Shouldn't be an issue. This guy's going for Samson, it looks like. Oh, he's got a kill sword? That could be kind of dangerous. Ooh. If he does a crit with that, that's gonna hurt. Although we might hit twice. Yeah, is that gonna kill? Yeah, okay, there you go, Samson. Samson's a lot better than I remember for some reason. This is probably part of the reason I, I, I like hero class so much, is just getting to use him with a silver sword. And this guy here is gonna go for Abel, who's holding a javelin. Jaina, that's very nice of you to lick me. But it's also kind of, you know, I'm in the middle of something right now. And she just leaped off the desk. Alright, that's a level up for Abel. Oh, all he got was an HP. That's not that good. And that's it in terms of their enemy movement, so... They aren't doing too much, as you can tell. Okay, so, Rickard. You're gonna go ahead and open up this door. We need to keep track of our thief keys, because we're kind of running out. And some of the items, like the, the orbs, those are actually kind of really important. But Marth, next turn you're gonna grab what's in that chest, and then 
Uh, the turn after that, you're going to try and hand it off to Merrick, which is why I'm going to try to not move him as much. Also, let's go ahead and give this kill to Lind here. Uh, Thunder, Thunder should do the trick. Yeah, he's only got 4 HP left. There you go, Lind. Alright. I'm going to level up. Let's see what it gets for Lind. One skill, one luck, one HP. Uh, that was okay. I don't know exactly how good Lin's growth rates are, I just know she's a good unit, period. Alright, George, why don't you start taking care of these guys, these archers hanging out behind gates, all coward-like. And there's another hero up there. I don't remember what kind of weapon he's got. The Miracle Sword with Marth, after looking into it, but I think it just uh, increases like critical hit chance, I believe. Either that or I just got really lucky in the test playthrough. Which by test playthrough, I mean warping to the different chests and finding out which was where. I feel like we're just kind of gathering items this chapter. Unless there's a lot of reinforcements, then we don't have to worry about too much. And this guy's got a kill sword. That's kind of dangerous. Especially with 9 damage. Ooh, and we miss. And we only got one attack in, too. Okay, that guy's a bit of a threat. Let's go ahead and, uh... Well, first of all, Marth. The Bishop Badge. Uh, Rickard, you're gonna get going for the next one we need, uh, which is uh, this chest right here, I believe, has the Earth Orb. Let's go ahead and heal up Samson a bit. He's taking, you know, a little bit of damage. Should be doing fine after this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now as for this guy right here, he did 9 damage to Kane, who inherently has 9 defense. So, Abel, I think, has better defense, right? Yeah, by about 4. So he'd only take 5 damage from it. And if it crit, that would do 15. Which he, even if he crit both hits, and that's assuming he hits twice, then, you know, Abel would still be okay. So let's go ahead and use the Silver Lance with Abel. It should do quite a bit of damage as well. Although his accuracy is really good. The enemy accuracy, that is. Oh, wow. 22 damage. Okay, yeah, 5 damage. Perfect calculations, as you can see. Oh, and he hit... Well, that shut me up. Okay, 8 damage. Or he has 8 health left. Uh, Silver Lance with Katria. It's the same weapon. She has 8 power. Abel, on the other hand, has 20. He did 22 damage. So hers is 12 less, so she would do 10 damage, which should kill this guy. So let's give this attack a go with Katria with the Silver Lance. Come on, Katria, you got this. Yeah. Man, I'm getting better at calculating this stuff. I used to just do random things that, like, eh, that seems like a good move. I'm getting used to this game now. You get used to it after a while. We also gotta be careful, because these archer units, in which in that case is a sniper, they can reach right here and all of the spaces above and below. Except, of course, the diagonal ones. So we need to be careful not to move Katria or Minerva in any of those spaces. And just no one in general, unless they're gonna attack back in some way. Like, Lind, I wouldn't actually mind moving here, because that way she'd, you know, attack back, and there's no way this guy with what bow does he have? Oh, he has a silver bow, but he's still just a hunter. There's no way he's gonna kill Lind. Okay. Ooh, and that guy's gonna be going for... Is that Abel? No, it's Kane with the Volcanon. Good dodge. Ooh, when we attack twice, that's the end of that guy, okay. That one's going for Lind. I think those are the only enemies that can reach us this turn, so... This is about the extent of what they're doing, and he dodged, or we dodged, rather. Okay, six damage twice, that's okay. I might let George finish him off next turn. Oh, and that thief right there... ...has a very important item. Alright, Rickard, get going for that one, you'll be able to reach it next turn. Marth... Can you reach Merrick? This is very important. Yes, he can. Okay. So, in reaching Merrick, we're going to go ahead and give that to him. And now, finally, after he's been at max level for what seems like forever, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this to increase his class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your... Uh... Priest... Yay, Merrick! Back to level 1. Ready to get some XP. And actually, you know what, let's move Lind out of the way here since she only did 6 damage a couple of times. And let's let George finish that guy off, as I said I would. 
Now because I'm kind of scared that that thief with the very important item is going to run away at some point, I'm gonna have some guys go up here and go after him. The only units we have to worry about here is two heroes and two magical units. Other than that, it's just thieves, healers, and the boss who we're gonna talk to. So Katria, Minerva, Kane, Abel should definitely get going after these guys and start to clear out the boss area. Oh, Abel's actually kind of hurt. Maria, can you reach him? Yes, ooh, okay. That's the last bit of this live spell, so... Just clearing up a bit of inventory for Maria here.